um, Tuesday, March 20th, 2020. Um, it's going to be a short meeting. Um, on, in attendance, we have, um, on the line, we have uh, Ms. Shirley Howell, Mr. Mike Head. We have Mayor Alvarez on the line as well. We have the attorney, Karen Walter. We have Hayden Kramer on the line as well. Anybody else? Okay, I think that's everybody on the line. In the room, we have present Mr. Jerry Morse. Here. Mr. Todd Barber. Here. Myself, Marcus McIntyre. Town manager, Mr. Ray Allen. Abby Ball. <laughs> Mrs. Warner, is it? Carrie Warner. Yeah. Carrie Warner. Okay. All right. Yeah. Kathy Quinn, town clerk. <laughs> Captain James and Adam McLam. Um, keep this short and brief. I'm going to need a motion for the consent agenda. So moved. <clears throat> Mr. Moss has made the motion. All in favor? That would be Mr. Todd Barber, <clears throat> Mr. Moss, and myself all in favor. Uh, the second item, or the third item on the agenda, is to approve the resolution R2003. 20-01 emergency personnel policy. Um, everybody, I think, got the policy out in their um, packets. Um, and in, essentially, it's, it's really just giving the town manager and staff the authority to make some decisions in regards to the current situation caused by the COVID-19 virus. So do I have a motion to approve this resolution, but before I do, do any of you have any questions on that resolution? No. No questions? So do I have a motion to approve this resolution? Sure, I'll make a motion to approve resolution R200320-01, emergency personnel policy. All right, Mr. Morse has made the motion. Can we just have roll call for a vocal for those on the phone? You, you announced them, but I, I just would like to be sure. So we'll suspend all. that motion for a minute. And um, one by one, I'll call you, and you, you just um, announce yourself on the line. Um, we'll start with Ms. Shirley Howe. Yes. Mr. Mike Head. Yes. Yes. Uh, Ms. Ms. Karen Walter. I'm here, but not voting. Mr. Michael Alvarez. I'm here. Uh, Hayden Kramer. Here. I think it's okay. We just need counsel and attorney. Thank you. All right. So Mr. Morse has made the motion to approve resolution R200320-01, emergency personnel policy. All in favor? That would be unanimous with the members present. Um, Can we please have the online folks vote um, oh, orally? Sorry, sorry, I apologize. Um, Mr. Head, are you in favor of that motion, sir? I am in favor. All right, Miss Miss Howe, are you in favor of that motion? I am in favor. All right, so Miss Mr. Head and and Miss Mrs. Howe are both in favor. Um, are there any? So the motion carries and passes. Are there any other questions or any other comments before we move to adjournment? I, I just had one question that's irrelevant to what's on here, but it was it's just a quick question that I think everybody should have an answer to, if that's okay. What's the question, sir? The question is, considering all that's going on with the quarantines and getting more and more and more, would there be a necessity at some point for meetings, at least temporarily, where the votes from council members via on the phone will count because we have no other way of, of having the meeting? So I'm going to turn that over to either Karen or Mrs. Quinn. Um, I think that from what I read recently, the um, legislature is considering adopting some procedure that would allow votes over electronic means to count. However, that has not come to pass yet, but I do expect something on that. But Karen or Kathy, do you, any of you have any um, further information on that? Yes. Um, I've, this has been the, obviously the hot 
topic for the last week, uh, plus the um, current information from the School of Government is um, under these very unique circumstances, in the event there is something important or essential that needs to be approved and we are under a, um, a shelter in place or some other um, criteria that prohibits the governing board to meet personally. There is a statute in North Carolina that permits electronic meetings. We would need to follow that statute um, um, and, and Sprita, who wrote the article, believes that if so long as we follow the statute, we would likely um, be okay for, for taking town action. So what that would require is effectively a, a conference call of some sort that is open to the public. Um, so we would, I would recommend that Ray and the staff try to find um, Zoom or some other um, technology that we can sort of launch in the event this extends longer than expected. Uh, sorry, Karen, you're breaking up. Yeah. Right now, that would permit these electric. Oh, I'm sorry. You broke up there up. are. Um, um, there's a state statute that we would be able to follow. I would just recommend that the town start looking into sort of larger conference call capabilities so that we can, because uh, the public would need to be invited um, and able to access the meeting if we do it electronically. Um, so if we can look into, I, again, I'm just recommending that the town start looking into any of this kind of electronic. Zoom is one of the conference call you know, free apps, and there's, there's others, but if the town could look into that in the event we do have to call a meeting, um, there is a bunch of fuzz out there around some of the statutory requirements about one meeting, you know, public comment, one meeting a month, and what have you. I'm expecting more information, like Marcus said, from the state on the town's ability to kind of either, either how to handle it or to waive it in this crisis. So... More to come. I will keep you updated as I learn more information. Mr. Mayor, does that answer your question, sir? That answers my question. I just want to make sure that there's something backup plan in the safe if need be. All right. Well, um, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to answer that. No worries. Any other questions from anybody on the phone? Take that silence to me. No. What about in the room? Any questions or comments? No, none. All right, I'm going to move. Uh, I, I'm going to actually need a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion to Mr. adjourn. Mr. Morse has made the motion. All in favor? All right, that would be. And on the phone, too, Mr. Head and Mrs. Howe. Mr. Head first. Do you agree that we adjourn, sir? Do you support that motion? Mr. Head? All right, Miss, Miss Howe. All right, I, I, I got you. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Mr. Head supports it. What about you, Mrs. Howe? I support it. All right. So that would be five support, three here, and two on the line. All right. Motion. Meet me okay. as adjourned. Um, one, one thing before we just go. Remember, guys, any instructions that we get from the federal government, state and local, we should really adhere to. If they ask for social separation just so that we can be safe, please do that. Hopefully, we can all get through this and kind of get back to normal in the next few weeks or months. All right? Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Thanks.